I'm also committed to ensuring that every applicant for health insurance will be able to access coverage no matter their health status. Now we know from the conversation all across the country and over the last several years that support for the protection for those individuals with pre-existing conditions is nearly universal. We know that nearly 850,000 Louisianans actually have a pre-existing condition. But those individuals are at risk of losing critical protections if a reckless lawsuit that has been joined in by Attorney General Jeff Landry were to ultimately succeed in federal court. So we want to take action here in Louisiana to afford protections to the people here and basically preserve the status quo in terms of the protections of individuals with pre-existing conditions. Louisianans deserve to know that their health care is protected. And I look forward to working with the legislature to accomplish this goal. To allow people access to life-saving care by being able to go to primary care physicians and be diagnosed with diseases and other conditions long before they get so serious that they have to go to the emergency room which is the most costly, least effective way to treat these individuals. And in fact, it is impossible to manage disease through the emergency room. So not only have we saved more than $300 million because of Medicaid expansion, we're saving lives. And we were able to leverage $1.85 billion in federal funding that's been invested in every community across the state of Louisiana it turns over in our economy, the economic impact of which is three and a half billion dollars a year and 19,000 jobs <coughs> that produce a hundred million dollars of state general fund revenue through the sales tax and the income tax associated with that economic activity. So while it didn't cost us any general fund on the one hand, it's producing a hundred million dollars in revenue on the other and 19,000 jobs. So for every reason that you might possibly fathom, Medicaid expansion was the right thing to do. And these are our working poor brothers and sisters in Louisiana. And the same Catholic Christian faith that tells me that being pro-life on the issue of abortion is right also tells me that Medicaid expansion is a pro-life position. 